today I'm going to be putting contact paper on my fridge because um, I don't know, white is boring. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kara. My husband and I live in a studio apartment in San Francisco. We love our place, we've been here for five years. Um, and we are now just finally, finally actually making the kitchen cute. <laughs> you can check out my apartment tour up here. But yeah, quarantine basically is a great time to like really get into it. This is part four, I guess, of our rental kitchen makeover. Step one was putting marble contact paper on our countertops. It looks so good. Stage two is repainting our cabinets. So um, all the dings and the bumps that we had gathered over the years were smoothed over. Stage three was reorganizing everything. So it just made a lot more sense. And now it's time for like the fun stuff, the decorating stuff. So I'm gonna turn our fridge blue today. I saw how easy it was to put contact paper on the counter and I really wanted to add more pops of color in here because can't tell from my earrings, I love color. So I ordered some blue contact paper and it's gonna go on that boy. All right, let's get started. So I'm going to be using this shade of blue contact paper, which I ordered directly off of contact paper's company website because it was like $20 on Amazon, but only $9 from them. So definitely a better deal. They also have a lot more options on their website. Okay, so the first thing I did was I cleaned my fridge because there was a lot of like gross food and stuff caked on there that I didn't want to seal in with the contact paper. It's super important that you uh, clean your fridge and dry it before you start this. Once you're ready to go, it's really important to measure out your panel pieces so you can get the exact cuts. So you're not wasting paper. You know the saying, measure twice, cut once. So I'm, I measured out my side panels and then I started to cut my um, panels piece by piece. I thought I could do this alone, but I actually struggled a bit to peel the paper off. So I called over my husband and together with four hands, we carefully placed it just right and lined it up. Once though the top was adhered, it was easy for me to take over and peel and stick and peel and stick and get the whole sheet on without any air bubbles. I found this actually pretty easy to install, a lot easier than my faux marble countertops that I did with contact paper because gravity is working on your side, so I think you'll have an easier time doing this. That being said, if you're struggling, try the hack where you spray some Windex on your fridge just a little bit. That helps you move and slide your contact paper around so you can line it just right. As you can see in this clip, I was struggling a bit to try to figure out how to get my contact paper around my fridge handles, and then later I realized that I can take my fridge handles off, so just take a screwdriver, unscrew your fridge handles, pop them back on when you're done with it. Having that clear space makes such a difference and made it so much easier. And that's about it. Just repeat the process until your whole fridge is covered. I don't really have any issues with air bubbles. You might encounter that, but I thought it was pretty easy. And because we don't have a pattern, it was super easy to just quickly get this up and have it look flawless. All right, so we did it. Look at, I have a beautiful blue fridge that looks like a fun retro fridge. Um, I actually still have this side to do. I'm gonna pull it out. Um, so I guess technically it'll be two rolls. So that's a $19, $20 makeover and that's fantastic. And that is it. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you have any tips, add them as well so everyone can see. I've linked the contact paper below. Also make sure to check out my home channel on YouTube so you can see some of my other uh, tutorials and um, do-it-yourself projects around the apartment. You know the drill. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I hope to see you around the community.